Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's so good to see you. I love it when you come to visit Granny B. Granny B has a story today about a color. What's your favorite color? I don't know. I kind of like yellow. That's pretty handy since I wear yellow a lot, but I think yellow is a cheerful color. Well, I have a book today about the color purple. Lots of people say that purple is their favorite color. And I think it's cool to have a favorite color. Sometimes it says something about you. So, Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart thinks the world needs more purple people. Well, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of person a purple person is. So the Daniel Wiseman illustrations, there's going to be a lot of purple on those. So let's see about purple people. Well, let's look. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to be a purple person. Well, what does Penny have to say here? Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would I want to be purple? I'm kind of asking myself that too. Well, purple is a magic color that's made when red and blue work together. And that's true. I think all the best things in the world are purple. Well, let's find out. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to become a purple person. Wanna know why? Purple people ask great questions, like, why would I want to be purple? My dad says, purple people ask great questions. Questions about everything, even questions about questions. Like, hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name, Charlie? Well, see, that purple person learned that the bear's name was Charlie. Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? Looking at the stars. He also says I can only ask him 20 questions a day about space dolphins. I get that. Step two is laugh a lot. I love to laugh. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We're always laughing together. I mean like snot out your nose laughing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's pretty gross if you ask me. <laughs> Do you ever laugh until snot comes out your nose? I might have once or twice. We laugh at books, we laugh at jokes. Here's a joke. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. Oh my. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. We especially laugh at grandpa's funny noises. He goes, ha ha, snort, ha ha. Have you ever laughed till you snorted? Yeah, I think I have too. Laughing, purple laughing helps us remember the things we share and forget what we thought made us different. It's almost impossible to be laughing. Oops, let me start that sentence again. 
It's almost impossible to be angry when you're laughing. Try it. I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says Grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. That's a good song. She encourages me to give good ideas, like let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. That's her opinion. Sometimes people lose their voice and that's okay, it happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Want me to help you tell them? That's a good purple thing to do. Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard when we build things and while we learn things and while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now. Or fix something that needs fixing. Or help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Oh my, just kidding. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They are big and small, old and young, some wear cool coats, some wear shorts with lots of pockets, and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue and red other times, and some purple people even have green hair. Whoa. Step five, just be you, the real you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream up and every size you can think up. The only way to be purple is just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to turning into purple person. Hey, wait a minute. 
You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker. And you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I sure am glad you're a purple person because the world needs more purple people just like you. Well, I had no idea I was a purple person. Well, I hope you can be a purple person and ask good questions and do all those good things that Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart say purple people do. So use your voice, use your voice, stand up and help people that need helping and just go on being a good human being. And while you're doing it, remember to be kind to those people around you. Well, I hope you'll come back and see me again because Granny B loves you. You have a real good day now. Bye-bye.